Is protein before bed actually helpful? And if so, how does it mix into a healthy lifestyle? Are you feeling stagnated with gaining muscle and having energy? Does it even make a difference if you have protein before going to sleep? I have felt the confusion. Lots of things can impact your health and muscle gain without you even being aware. In this video, we will cover how effective it is to have protein before bed and how it actually works. After all, downing a big protein shake before bed is nothing new, and people have done it for years. But is it effective, and how effective is it according to the research? I will dive into things and break down benefits and important points with some new findings related specifically to whey protein. Let us know if this content is applicable to you and what other topics you would like to hear more on. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. For starters, I would like to touch on the importance of protein which is made up of amino acids. These are the main components or building blocks to helping our muscles build and repair. They do so in part when we are sleeping. During this time, growth hormone elevates in the body. This is important because it helps with muscle growth and helps to decrease fat. There have been some studies that show having enough protein throughout the day or bed helps you maximize growth hormone and muscle mass. There could be a scarcity of these amino acids in your body if you're working out intensely, so you need to replenish these to maintain. I would always recommend having a high protein diet to help maintain lean muscle and weight management. It helps if you're active with running, lifting weights, or even just to maintain satiety or fullness. Try to get roughly a gram of protein per pound of body weight using whole foods, high fiber foods, and high protein foods then I would use and supplement with protein shakes as needed to hit that number. In my opinion, the most important thing to focus on would be consistent protein throughout the day. Starting there, I would recommend trying to consume 15 to 25 grams of protein at a single sitting. Now, what are some good sources of protein? I would recommend chicken, seafood, tofu, legumes, lentils, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, eggs, and even some nuts. Always prioritize healthy natural sources from food. When not available, protein steaks are still a great option. Here are some ideas on portions to hit 20 grams of protein in a quantifiable way through food. You can have a cup of baked beans with rice. The beans are the main part providing the protein, but gives you a complete source there. Or you can have three ounces of salmon, chicken, or lean ground beef with trying to have less than 10% fat. Other ideas I would recommend would be one cup of cottage cheese, a glass of milk, plain yogurt with some fresh fruit, or three hard boiled eggs. Drinking a protein shake before bed specifically helps muscle mass and fat loss. Since you are sleeping and at rest, the ability to stimulate muscle growth is lower. However, if you can increase some protein within an hour of going to bed, it may help preserve some of that hard-earned muscle when your muscles are at rest and not being fueled. To support this, I would like to look into a specific study breaking down a couple of different types of protein consumed before going to bed. The study I'm referencing looked at 36 people broken up into three groups of 12. One group took 45 grams of whey protein before bed, 145 grams of casein, and there was one placebo group. The baseline protein that participants had a day in the study was 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. The one interesting variable is if they had the, they had the participants bike for 60 minutes at 60% endurance before bed. While this is good, they had physical activity, it could skew the data a little for those specifically looking at resistance training or not doing an hour workout. It has long been as accepted as fact that casein is a better protein to have before bed than whey protein. This is because it is a slower digesting protein. The idea is that it stays in your system longer and keeps your body anabolic. Casein provides a steady stream of amino acids throughout the night, while well, whey hypothetically spiked within the first 60 to 90 minutes. In this study of the 36 individuals, they were comparing whey and casein overnight. It is anticipated leucine and whey protein concentration spiked in the first 90 minutes, just like they thought. Casein sustained more moderate concentration levels throughout the night. What was not expected in the study was that whey maintained concentration levels at or above casein for most of the night until the very end. It basically maintained concentration availability of amino acids throughout. In regards to muscle protein synthesis, casein had an 18% increase over the placebo group and whey had an increase of over 35%, almost double. So even though casein is known better for muscle protein synthesis overnight when sleeping, we see some evidence that whey protein may be the superior choice according to this case, this study. 
We also find that in this study, having protein before bed can be good for endurance adaptations. This is important because I think most people think of protein before bed is important for weightlifters and bodybuilders. However, this can be beneficial for endurance trained athletes who tend to have less protein overall in comparison or those who walk a lot. It reinforces the idea that having protein before bed is probably a good idea as this study dealt with those engaging in an hour of endurance training. Casein has long been viewed as the superior over the course of a night. It turns out actual muscle protein synthesis was superior in whey, which was surprising at least to me. It may make it the best protein overall, at least according to this one study. If you feel like you've gotten any value so far, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It really helps us out so much. Moving on, taking protein prior to going to bed can also increase energy. We know that if you have more lean muscle mass, you will have more energy. One study from 2016 followed a group of individuals drinking 40 grams of protein before bed. They were able to show that individuals who did so had improved muscle adaptive response. This response indicated better endurance for heavy cardiovascular and weight training alike. Now, do we know for sure how protein before bed affects sleep? The answer is maybe, but we do have some good indicators. The data is still mixed. However, I would recommend overall that people consume a high protein diet and try to get plenty of sleep each night. If these two things are in line, muscle growth will most likely follow. One thought is that protein before bed promotes tryptophan, which is an amino acid. Tryptophan increases serotonin, which makes you feel happy, as well as increases your body's natural melatonin and helps with sleep. Yogurt as well as milk or soy milk with protein can help increase tryptophan in your body. One of the stages of sleep is non-rapid eye movement sleep. During this phase, your body produces HGH or human growth hormone. This hormone is important in bringing blood flow to the muscles, tissue repair, and overall regeneration. Growth hormone peaks when you are sleeping and is enhanced by getting enough sleep. Cortisol is suppressed during sleep, which is good for recovery. This shows the importance of sleep in conjunction with a healthy, high protein diet. Everyone needs good sleep and rest time to recover from exercise, which inflicts damage on your muscle fibers. For those looking to lose weight, there is some evidence that drinking a protein shake can help you burn some calories even when sleeping. Drinking a protein shake pushes your metabolism to continue to keep working, in addition to helping with muscle protein synthesis. Your body will absorb and digest the protein while you're at rest. While it's taking in this energy, this is helping your body to burn calories even when you're sleeping, therefore promoting weight loss, maybe in a small way, but still promoting it. However, with weight loss, the main thing to keep track of is monitoring your calories. When trying to lose weight, really track total calories, make sure you're really eating what you think you are, and maintaining a high concentration of protein. A 30 gram drink of protein is a great source, probably only going to be an extra 150 to 170 calories, which is really low. Just be careful not to mix in too much other stuff, high sugar things, extra fruit, milk, whatever it is right before bed. Having a high protein diet overall can help you to fight off the dreaded cravings or hunger pains. It does this by suppressing your ghrelin hormone, which is what makes you feel hungry. In turn, it promotes leptin, which helps you feel more full. If you feel less hungry, you will eat less and drop pounds while preserving muscle. If you have a low protein diet, you will just lose muscle and have muscle tissue break down with extra skin. Pre-bed protein can help you preserve muscle and push off these unwanted symptoms. Just to add a little more to this, another study from 2015 monitored 44 young adults who adhered to a 12-week resistance training program. All participants in the study consumed a high diet of protein, 1.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. They had 27.5 gram protein shake before bed, and the other had a placebo. The group who had the protein shake had greater muscle strength, size, and muscle fiber endurance. Muscle fiber size, excuse me. In a study, this is unclear if the muscular improvements were due to high protein diet overall or the protein before bed, but still some preliminary data there. Another study found effects of protein on muscle strength prior to going to sleep. The findings were strong enough that the International Society of Sports Nutrition highly recommended. They recommend 30 to 40 grams of casein protein before bed for athletes due to what they see as a strong increase in muscle protein synthesis throughout the night. They recommend this for athletes who train in the morning without eating or those that train after dinner in the evening. In fairness, the data is inconclusive in regards to how much protein helps with sleep. One Australian study in 2022 of athletes did not find a way to help with sleep duration or quality. It also did not hamper or have a negative impact. Another study from 2021 found no clear correlation between protein and sleep. 
Further research is needed as evidence overall is still lacking according to some of these studies. There are positive signs and it helps with muscle protein synthesis, but it's hard to separate as most individuals also have a high overall protein diet during the day. Regardless, muscle protein synthesis is crucial to building muscles. Our muscles constantly experience muscle breakdown. Having protein before bed may help keep a positive protein balance when you're resting and not eating every few hours. On a surface level, it does seem to make sense that pre-sleep protein could help with recovering adaptation, in my opinion. While resting, you would think it would be an ideal time for our bodies to absorb nutrients and get things to the right spot. Protein before bed will not hurt you. The research does appear to be mixed. However, any studies that don't show positive benefit seem to show neutral results and nothing negative. In my own experience, I believe that protein before bed has helped to make me feel stronger when I have an early morning training session. I don't have any exact data on this, this is just how I feel. It has helped me to preserve muscle mass and help with recovery. Taking this a step further, we find that whey protein is the best choice as of now, in my opinion. It has long been thought that due to its slow digest digesting properties, casein would be superior. It appears that any type of protein is beneficial to an extent, and initial findings are that whey protein may actually be superior to casein. If you found any value, please subscribe and turn on notifications. We're always trying to bring practical fitness advice to everyday people.